and a major disaster may be unfolding right now in Haiti, hit today by a powerful earthquake. For the dead, the injured, and the homeless are sharing a city largely reduced to rubble, tending to their own injuries, burying their own dead. With hospitals collapsed and no doctors or ambulances in the streets, people realized it was up to them. Toute la journée, ma dominée, toute la nuit, ma va jamais dormir. Mais pour qui ça, ça m'a pas tourné, ma dominée, avec la vie vieille, frère, mieux, qu'a passé mal dans toute mauvaise condition. After the earthquake, we just realized uh, how many people who died, so we just said, that if we have this country, like the young people, uh, really trained how to rescue people, how to answer to emergency calls, there are less people dead. So we just try to build this EMS system here. Girard is a great person with a, a strong personality and is very involved in what he's doing in the community. As far as I remember, Gerard and I were very close to each other. My relationship with my sister Geraldine, what unifies us is that we never left the other behind. Two days after the earthquake, Gerard and I decided to go to the general hospital to give our help. And then we start uh, with this idea of training people to answer to this emergency call. And when I met these people from Benchi, they was really useful and helpful. Benchi bring people to train us as EMT, and they continue to help us by giving us good ideas and how to, to do our best every day to contribute in our community's life. We have a big dream. Our dream is if we train more people, if we help more people, everybody all over the world will see that we'll do what uh, many people were trying to do but couldn't do. Our mission is to let everybody around the country and around the world that we are also fighting for the human rights.